Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Guillermo Auto. I got a 2002 Corolla four-cylinder 1.8 liter. I'm doing the main seal, otherwise known as a crankshaft seal on the front. Mine's leaking. Um, this uh, black rubber piece is the main seal, and the crankshaft key, I'm going to show you how to mess with that a little bit. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but this is leaking as it runs. You can see a black streak just coming down. Uh, this engine just leaks and leaks and leaks when it runs, so... I'm going to replace it and what you want to do is you want to take off this 19 millimeter crank bolt and then your pulley oh, I'm sorry take off the belt first um, your pulley may just be able to slide off or you may need to use a, uh, a pulley remover but here's my seal as you can see it's leaking right on the bottom there uh, I'm gonna get a new one this is my old pulley I got a new pulley too because uh, well I'll show you in a minute but I'm gonna clean this area up in a minute after I get this old seal out so you can use a flathead uh, or a seal puller. Uh, if you're good with a flathead, you can get it out. Just be very careful not to gouge the inner uh, like race of this area. It's easy to gouge. You just got to be careful getting the seal out. Now I'm going to magically clean this up real quick and then uh, show you why I'm replacing everything. Uh, this is a good opportunity to get it nice and clean. So right here is my old pulley. I don't know how, but the crankshaft key slid over and made this huge gouge. And the pulley was like bouncing up and down while it was rotating. Um, so I got a new one for um, 30 bucks from the website 1A Auto. Usually these are like 100 bucks, 200 bucks. As you can see, I got a new crankshaft key too I'm going to try to put in. Uh, the crankshaft key sits in a little slot on, the, on it. Um, you could pull... The old one out with some um, needle nose pliers. I kind of recommend not doing this if you can avoid it because this crankshaft key could be a real pain to get back in. Basically, you're going to put it back in uh, where you took it out. But see, the problem is is it, when you take it out, there are these two gears right here that, that shift. And you have to line these two gears back up to get it in to go in properly. So it just took me a while. I would recommend not doing it if you could help it. But anyways, I got mine in. Um, disregard that the seal's in right now. I'm going to show you how to install the seal. Um, but if, you know, you can get a new crankshaft key if yours is messed up. Here's the part number. Um, like I said, I only got mine because I was concerned that the pulley was on there. You know, the pulley got all messed up. But anyways, here's my new seal. It's a uh, Toyota one. And here's the, the pulley I got from 1A Auto. And I also got a new crank uh, pulley bolt. Here's the part number for that. Uh, I just wanted one just in case my bolt broke. But anyways, I'm going to put a little seal glide, a light coat on my new seal. Um, I don't know how aftermarket seals will be, but this um, OEM one goes in like this. And it was actually really easy. I just pushed it with my fingers and worked it around and got it in. Just make sure you get it all the way in on every side. Uh, went in no problem. And then uh, we're going to put the crank pulley back on. Uh, make sure that you're lined up with the little uh, crankshaft key after you... Uh, put one in or hopefully you don't have to mess with it at all anyways you line the slot up with the crankshaft key and then you can slide this on um, don't force it you know just kind of walk it in you shouldn't have to force it or hit it with a hammer or nothing like that maybe like a light tap with a rubber mallet maybe but anyways I got mine on right here um, as you can see I got the slot lined up with the key and I'm gonna show you here's my old one again I don't know how that happened but this thing was wobbling like crazy uh, I think that's what caused the, maybe the seal to start leaking. Um, so that's why I even mess with my key. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't mess with the crankshaft key at all. Um, you can put a little anti-seize on your new bolt. You know, just so next time you have to take it off or whatever. And just run it down. Uh, get it nice and tight. And uh, then that's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully this video helps you out. Uh, make sure you get your belt back on. Uh, to, to, to take it off and put it back on you get on this little 19 millimeter spot right here and then you could pull on the belt pull on the tensioner slow and that'll make it easier to get the belt off and then uh, yeah just check it when it's running uh, as you can see it's not leaking how it was and I know this was a quick tutorial video guys I know I went really fast but this was just kind of like a quick tutorial type video anyways hope this helped you out please like comment subscribe see you next video